Oh. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Tuesday the 5th of September 2023 and tonight we're off back to Bedford Terrace to watch Billingham Town but there is a real plot twist to this one because Billingham Town tonight are actually the away side so that can only mean one thing and that is of course that they are up against Yarman Eagles Cliff in Northern League Division 2 of course it is uh, technically yeah, I'm an Eagles Cliffs home game, so uh, Billingham Town are going to have to use the away dressing room where the, their away kit, uh, season tickets, not counting the full lot. Um, and of course, yeah, I'm an Eagles Cliff were actually the first ever side that we saw on this channel, so it's uh, great to get them back on. Of course, things quite a bit different for them now compared to back then, but really looking forward to this tonight. Let's get into this and let's head on up to Billingham. So here in Billingham and uh, going into this game this evening, Yarman Eagles Cliff are currently in 10th place in the Northern League Division 2 table and had a little bit of a shaky start to the season, a uh, few bad results but uh, they've really been in uh, quite good form of late, hence why they now find themselves in the top half of the table and uh, they'll uh, potentially be uh, looking to push on even further and uh, the, a, a, a win tonight and they're on an absolute roll aren't they but uh, as for Billingham Town they are now in 20th place which is second bottom and uh, their only win of the season so far was uh, that game we saw on a channel a fortnight ago when they uh, won 1-0 against Thornaby and uh, since then it's just been almost normal service resumed in terms of how this season's gone for them so far I mean it's been an absolutely uh, pretty dreadful start for them and uh, the thing is with Billingham Town I'd personally regard them as uh, one of maybe the biggest and most uh, recognisable names in the Northern League and uh, the thing is if they carry on like this then there's a very real chance that they might not even be in the Northern League at all next season so uh, they really got to get it together soon um, but it's going to be a bit of a weird night this one because uh, obviously uh, it's not your uh, quintessential away game where you're going somewhere a little bit unfamiliar for Billingham Town. Like, uh, they obviously do play here every other week, but, obviously, but then again, uh, so the Yarman Eagles Cliff, so that side of it uh, is uh, pretty much uh, non-existent tonight because, um, yeah, it's, um, it's practically a home game for both. Obviously, it is technically Yarman Eagles Cliff's home game, and, and they... Uh, Speaking of Yarman Eagles Cliff, uh, by God, they haven't half come, come far since uh, the first ever video on the channel where the beat uh, Brandy United 2-1 uh, in that friendly uh, just after the first lockdown. Uh, obviously that game was at uh, Conyers School in Yarm, but now we're ground sharing with Billy Town and uh, we've gone to the Northern League. I mean, uh, one or two people maybe aren't the biggest fan of how they've got here by obviously virtue of a ground share, but uh, you know what? Uh, Good luck to them, some great people involved with Yarmouth Eagles Cliff and, and for them more than anything, I think they're the ones that definitely deserve the chance to uh, see the lads uh, test themselves at this particular level and, uh, the, and so far they've got to say um, they're certainly uh, rising up to the challenge. Anyway, let's head on down to Bedford Terrace and find out how this tenants versus landlords game will unfold. So the team's warming up, a yarm getting ready just here. I think they're going to be in blue and white this evening. And Billy Town are in the distance over there. I think they're going to be in a white away kit or something like that. Um, white, maybe black. I don't know. Anyway, we'll find out when the players are coming out of the tunnel, ready to start the match. 
So Billingham Town are in white this evening. I'm in the way. Some clearance that if it's that's actually been cleared. Half time, Yarman Eagles Cliff nil, Billingham Town nil. Uh, as a game, it's actually a little bit unlucky to still be nil nil. There's the most definitely been a chances either way. Um, I think. In terms of the chances, I'd say the Yama probably had the better of them and uh, would be one up, but for that absolutely sublime goal line clearance uh, just before half time. But uh, I think Billingham Town uh, they did start the game quite well, they got at Yam, but uh, just couldn't quite uh, break them down. But uh, the, the player has been there from them, it's just about finding a way through. Uh, but it does have a bit of a, this game does sort of have the feel that if it gets one goal and I'll might well go on and get two, three, maybe even four. Um, but uh, obviously uh, it's still nil nil at the minute, deadlock's still too broken. Uh, so I think as a spectator, obviously it's already nil nil last Monday, don't want another one here. So fingers crossed uh, there will be a goal at some point in the second half. Oh! It's in. No! This isn't going in, is it? Oh! It's in! Well, the one who won once so far this season, was, which was when I was here, am I going to prove to be the lucky champ for them once again? Can I get there? You can't! Oh, another! Twice have somehow got off the line. Save. 
Ja. Ja. How many chances have they had? Just not the night. Corner. Kicking off now. It's a red card. Yeah, I'm finishing a game with ten men. There we are. Full time, Yarman Eagles, Cliff nil, Billingham Town one. I don't know how, but it was. Um, Yarm will be absolutely kicking themselves that they didn't get at least something out of that game. The amount of chances that they have, uh, they really ought to. But what has to be said is that that was an absolutely exceptional uh, goalkeeping and uh, all round defensive display from uh, Billingham Town tonight. They were really resolute throughout, and yeah, and uh, maybe. On, on that basis, they've uh, got their just rewards with the final result. I mean, if, if the game had finished 0-0, I think that would have been extremely harsh, uh, given, um, the, yeah, just as I said at half-time, uh, the amount of chances that there was in the game. And uh, lo and behold, uh, Billingham Town didn't really have that many sort of chances in the second half, but the one that they did get... Uh, They've took and uh, that is what has uh, made a difference and uh, that is a really important win that for them tonight. Uh, obviously, as I touched upon before the game, um, the only time they'd won before that this season was uh, when I was there two weeks ago against Thornaby and uh, yeah, uh, gone back tonight and uh, they've uh, won again. Um, so maybe I'm the good luck charm. Um, so. They're offering out those uh, £21 uh, season tickets at uh, this rate. I'll be uh, getting one free of charge for next year um, if like, if, if their, their form, whenever I see them, carries on like this. Um, but yeah, uh, as I say, a really, really vital win there for Billy Town tonight. A disappointing result for Yarm, who, as I've mentioned, uh, will feel as though that they should have got, at a bare minimum, a point out of the game and a, a Probably based on chances, I feel as though they should have uh, actually won it. But uh, it wasn't speed for them. But then again, they are still uh, Northern League newbies. They've played, uh, I think, played 10 games now and have got a 50% win ratio. So it's still like in a fairly good place, I'd say. Um, so uh, I think for them, it's just important to uh, dissect, um, obviously, why it didn't quite happen for them tonight, but maybe look at uh, the positives of their overall of of their overall play. It just well, wasn't meant to be in terms of end product. But that is that for this video, and I'll be back tomorrow night. And it is a really big derby in Northern League Division One. It's Gisborough Town versus Redcar Athletic. So really looking forward to that one. Until then, take care. Cheers for watching. See you later.